Not a good day. Not a good day. How's it going? Hey. Well, unfortunately. I mean, it, yeah, when I shut it down, it was still running, but, you know, you with, to with, pull it up there? uh, I don't know. I mean, at this point, it's under warranty anyway, so I'm not really sure. I guess yeah. we can. I mean, I can pull it up there with the winch. Yeah, I mean, let's try that first. I'm just scared of that cable getting into that splitter. Yep, yep, me too. Please yeah, because it's going to ride up. I mean... We can try it. Guys, it's up there. It's I mean, at this at this point, it's broken anyway. You know. It's gonna be a lot better than that cable hitting that splitter. Yeah. Yeah. Usually they come with tow hooks that, that go like right in here, but I don't have it. It didn't come with it, so. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we can. I can give it a shot. Well, that yeah, that's gonna be a conversation we're gonna have to have. Is 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 it gonna need a motor or, you know? If I'd have been driving another truck though, this thing would have made it up to this. <laughs> Yeah, these things ride really well. Surprised you out driving it with the salt and stuff on the road. I know. I, I, while I was going up to film, I do YouTube and stuff like that for you know yeah, a living. You do, so you do stuff like that. Yeah. So I was going up to literally uh, the, the Ford dealership up here. Yeah. You know, a mile away. Yeah. And then just cruising on Wilma Rudolph, and then you know, I got that warning light. No oil pressure dropped to zero. Said turn the car off immediately. I was like, yes, sir. I will comply. We will shut it down. Notorious. The 17 and early 18 builds on these. It's a problem. Yeah. Hopefully not RIP, but you never know. I might need a motor. It's a familiar sight, unfortunately. Tow trucks. All right. Well, this sucks. How many times have my car has been on? Tow trucks. Why does this happen to me? I thought we got rid of that bad luck. No, this is a it's, it's, it's a GM problem for this model year. Yeah, I think they still have my uh, old Mustang over here. I don't think it's sold yet. So we're arriving at the dealership, uh, we're we're gonna bed down the Camaro ZL1. Yep, they still have my red Mustang. That's so crazy. Um, and this is gonna be where she lives for the next we don't know how long but all right let me drop the car off talk to uh, the people inside and then we'll pick up the video and uh, discuss what happened all right guys so it's moving under its own power right now but look at the oil pressure so significantly bad and um i guess good i can move it around the parking lot a little bit so i don't know if this is going to be an engine or not but i had um what happens is had a flashing or whatever a warning light that came up low oil pressure generally on these cars you guys know that means we have a oil pump failure so notorious on the 2017 and 20, early 2018 zl1 camaros well i guess camaros in general but really zl1s oh, look at that oil pressure is not happy Let's go next to the, uh, yeah, Corvette. Let's do that. Well, guys, um, made it back home safe. I uh, got the car dropped off at the dealership. So, you know, we talked uh, a little bit. It's, it's tough to know really the extent of the damage uh, right now. You know, we obviously suspect the oil um, pump, you know, having going down since that is, you know, kind of a common thing on the 17 to early 18 builds. And my build date on my ZL1 Camaro is August uh, 2017. So it would have been an early 18 model when it was sold. Um, you know, I'm obviously not the original owner, but when we bought the car, it was clean and uh, never been an accident, never had any service done to it, uh, you know, warranty wise anyway. So um, yeah, tough, it, it was a clean car. I bought it with uh, about 11,000 miles and I've owned it for about 2000 in two months and you know i've been taking care of it and then you know driving it uh normally as you know most people would maintaining things 
but um yeah it's still on the f the same oil change from when the factory or when the dealership did it when they took it in on trade so i don't know we shall see but i mean i was literally just driving in traffic and was going up there to film more content uh on a mach 1 mustang unfortunately we did not make it so um yeah there's going to be it's gonna be interesting so i don't know how long you know this this day and age with shortages here and there and the craziness that we live in how long will we be without the car I, I don't know but the good thing is that it's going to be a warranty claim so it still falls under the five year 60. thank the lord so uh you know now would be a good time i would say to put in like an aftermarket k-tech unit or something like that however i already asked that question and the dealership said that um they really want to go with the OEM parts, which is fine probably, I guess. Let me know in the comments, like your experience around this whole subject, oil pump failure in the Camaros and uh, what you did to fix it. What was the extent of your damage? Because here's the thing, if you lose oil pressure, which we did. So when I was driving, we got that, that warning light that said low oil pressure, you know, turn the car off immediately. So I drove it about 600 feet or something like that and turned it off. I had to get off the road. And then, um, you know, oil pressure did go down to, you know, flat zero. But uh, then when we put it back on the truck, you know, I didn't want to rip the bumper off too with that cable. So we were like, well, if it's hurt, we'll just put it on the truck, on the tow truck. So uh, we did when I fired it up, though, it was maintaining about 5 to 10 PSI of oil pressure. So uh, and the light didn't come back on, at least when I was driving it up. So that's good. You know, at least it had some little pressure there. And you can run cars generally when they're lubricated for a minute. You know, it, it doesn't happen to be an immediate shutdown. The engine sounded fine. But uh, anyway, when we got to the dealership, backed it off of the trailer, uh, it was the same deal. So about 5 to, to 8, 9, 10 PSI. So really low. What, so what causes this stuff to happen? Generally, it is uh, a, a crackage or breakage in the oil pump gears. You know, this is a common thing with Mustangs when you start throwing power at them. It's a very common upgrade to, to uh, upgrade oil pump gears. Hopefully the new revised GM part numbers will, you know, solve this when they put it back together. I am crossing my fingers and hoping that it's not an engine because that's the scary thing is we don't know yet. This is the same day that I just dropped it off. So in the next few days, I'll have more of an update. Hopefully, maybe they'll be able to take it apart by then and then uh we can start access you know assessing what exactly happened the extent of the damage but it takes takes some time i was very clear with the the service guy hey uh you know please please you know it goes without saying have your technician take a very good hard look at this because you lose oil pressure due to a, a gear breakage um you want to make sure there's no metal that got slung through the engine so and if it is if it's an engine it'll be a warranty thing but it's going to suck because we might be without the car for weeks, but it also could be months. And we're hoping for the earlier, you know what I mean? So yeah, it sucks that this happened. I uh, didn't really know about the, the oil pump problems when I bought the car. And then I started reading about them after I bought the car. And I was like, oh crap, I hope this doesn't happen to me, but go figure, it did. But I was talking to a buddy of mine, Jack, determined veteran on YouTube, go check him out, by the way. And that, uh, you know, he, he used to have a Camaro ZL1. He had an 18, but had no problems on his. I think he sold his with 11 or 12,000 miles or maybe even less. But anyway, the, the discussion I had with him was, well, that he had with me was maybe this is a blessing in, the, in disguise because once I started reading about oil pump problems, it was always in the back of my head when I was driving a car. Is this going to happen today? Is it going to happen tomorrow? You know, could this happen? Maybe I'll be lucky and it won't happen at all. I don't know. And it sucks because that adds stress to your driving experience. And I didn't like that. So anyway, I'm kind of glad that it did happen now. If it was going to happen, it, I'm glad it happened now under a warranty. So that's uh, that's the story right now. So, you know, unfortunately, the ZL1 is going to be bye-bye for don't know how long. And uh, But hopefully, you guys cross your fingers out there that it's not an engine. And uh, we just got to really take it apart and really inspect and uh, metal is my main concern. You know, if it's a gear breakage, if it's a clean break, no metal, but in everything that I've seen, uh, usually it throws metal somewhere. So when it does, we hope that the filter caught it. So I would like, hopefully I would like to see, and maybe I can even get some insider access. I'm gonna ask, you know, when they're taking things apart, uh, if we can go in there and, and 
you know, maybe like cut open the, the oil filter and all that. Maybe that'll be something that they, they do. But uh, uh, anyway, so I'm kind of nervous about this whole thing and it really sucks. But again, glad it happened under warranty, you know, sooner than later. So anyway, uh, let me know your experience with oil pump gear or oil pump failures in your Camaro or maybe even your other car. Uh, have you ever had low oil pressure and the engine was fine? You know, the filter maybe caught it all, uh, or did you have to eat an engine or, you know, did the factory, you know, warranty out a long block or a short block, or, you know, just let me know what your experience is, your story. I'd like to be, uh, I'd like to hear about it in the comments down below and then engage with you there. And we'll take this one step at a time, but I appreciate you guys watching. I'll get an update here in a couple of days and then we'll go from there. So God bless all of you and I'll see you later. Bye.